one of the last tutorials and you have come this far. Congratulations! Alright, this tutorial will be about symbolic math, which is a really interesting concept and that's one of the things that I was really hoping that one application would do that, and they do it. So, I know it sounds a little cryptic, but this is what it means. So, normally when we're calculating stuff, this is how we calculate it, right? We say, for example, in math, say x squared plus x minus 5 is equal to 0, and then let's, let's make this... Ah, let's make this guy... I don't know, 6, then we try to find the result, and it's probably uh, the roots of that, x minus x plus 3, x minus 2, and we would just come out and say, well, 2 is one root, negative 3 is another. This is how we do it, but unfortunately, most calculators cannot do that. Well, at least the primitive ones can't do that. What you need to do is that you really have to type out everything, and you need to find a result. Well, I don't like it. Nobody likes it. But... Uh, until now, we thought that that's how we do it, right? But that's not right. The way we do it, the way we can uh, solve equations is just like this. We can use this function called sim. It, uh, it's the abbreviation of symbolic. And we uh, open parentheses and we enter whatever we want inside single quotes. And for example, we can say x squared just like this, right? All right, so let me show you on MATLAB. So let's say x is equal to symbolic x. All right, this is how we define it. So then we go on and say, for example, x plus x, x plus x, or x, um, times, for example, 5 minus uh, 6. This is the result. You see, 6x minus 6. So uh, it just didn't like outward result something like well I don't know this variable what is this for example when you say a plus a it's going to say undefined functional variable so that's why we need symbolic also you can do like uh, even crazier complications something like this for example you say sim and you would add x to the fourth power you can do whatever you like you can even insert a huge function here, right? A huge equation, sorry. For example, something like this. x to the fourth power plus 5 times x minus 8. And that will just work out fine, all right? That will just work out fine. Okay, that, that's, that's great, but what if I have more than just one variable, all right? x is good, but what if I have not only y, but also z? We can do it in two ways. For example, the first way is this. You would say x is equal to sim, sim uh, x. Then you would do this for y and z. But I believe that way is really boring. The better way is this, all right? You would use this. Sims, not the game, but with s uh, at the end. And you would just type out your variables. x, y, z, and that's it. That would be all right for the sake of craziness sims x y z w you see in our workspace this class is sim actually i'm gonna do that class x oh my god we have a class called sim it's great right so we can do some calculations let's say x times 5 minus 12 plus y minus 5 times y and what's going to happen is this 5 times 6 minus 4y minus 12 absolutely brilliant I really like it. So, another question while we're at it. Do you remember how we define polynomials in MATLAB? It was just like this. For example, this is our function, x to the fourth power plus 5x cubed, 5x cubed minus uh, uh, 7x squared plus x minus 2. This is how we do it. Coefficient 1, coefficient 5, coefficient negative 7, uh, 1, and negative 2 and you put it in a vector and this is your polynomial. Such an ugly way to do that, right? Well, we can actually convert this polynomial into symbolic and we'll just do this. Poly to sim and let me change the color because black is getting really annoying and we'll just enter, let's say this is equal to, sorry, yeah. <laughs> let me do it the other way. Let's I don't know where to write, so let's say this is 
This is equal to pole. This is my polynomial called pole. And let me erase this. All right, do it again. Now let's say this is pole. And what it's going to do is that it's going to generate its its polynomial version. Sorry, its sim symbolic mathematics version. And it's just going to be like this, but in an ugly form, just like this guy. X to the fourth plus five times x cubed. Or it goes like this. But you know it's ugly, and how can I make it look pretty? There's a function for that, do you know that? It's called it's called pretty. Worth waiting for it. And let's make this thing equal to actually you should always do it on the left side, but I don't have the space to do that, so I'm gonna do it on the right side. Equal to let's say crazy. And pretty crazy. <laughs> It's going to give you something looking like this guy, all right? Like this. So let me let me do that. Let's say pretty, pretty ends. That's so you see 5x for y negative 12. It's looking pretty good. Let me try out something different. X, uh, x to the uh, to the uh, to the three plus five four times x minus two plus x to the uh, to the uh, second power times five six all right and let's put in pretty form pretty sorry that's not that uh, was that the function this is the function always be careful about your all right so it looks ugly but it's 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 something at least it's he's trying we could we could give him that all right uh, also, you know, if there is a, there is a function with two, with this two, uh, sorry, I can't draw that, but like this guy two here, the, the two that I'm deleting, you always can guess that there is an opposite function of that. So I showed you poly to stir, right? Poly to stir. Guess what other function do we have? Sim to poly which does exactly the opposite. So you have something like this, sim to pause is going to give you this, one, zero, 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 because you know, x cubed, x four, x squared, x and x to the zero power. All right, so that's our absolutely great function. Let me erase everything on the board and go with the other one. Okay, so we have something called simplify, simplify. This thing simplifies uh, a given symbolic uh, equation. For example, you know this guy's result, right? Cosine x squared plus sine x squared. This thing, this thing is always equal to one. Or for example, this guy, two times two, uh, let me delete that. Uh, I can't delete it. Two times sine x, okay, 2 times sine x times cosine x. This is equal to sine 2x. That's what we want to get, right? All right, so we use this function and we basically place it here, right, with my crayon colors. Then it's going to give us this result. So let me try this here, all right, simplify, simplify, cosine x to the to the second power plus sine x to the second power try it out answer is one let me try something different so let's try this on matlab um, for example, was this simplify? Simplify, simplify, sin x, two times sin, uh, sin x times cos x. You see, sine 2x, that's what we wanted to get. Uh, we can also try cosine x squared plus sine x squared, but we're not going to bother with dealing with that. 
Uh, we also have something called collect. So let me let me draw it up. Where's my pen? My pen has to be somewhere around here. Well, I don't know where that is, so I'm going to use my hand. All right. It's going to be ugly, I admit. I still can't find it. All right. Actually, there was an easy way to do it. There it is. Okay. So black. The name of the function is collect. All right. Collect. What it does is that, for example, you have something like this. Actually, let me write it like this guy. X squared plus 5x squared and plus 6x cubed. And you can easily say this is 6x squared, right? So what collect does is that it actually adds them up, symbolic, uh, with a, uh, they have the same degree, uh, same degree of exponentiation with different coefficients. So they just add them up and gives value 6. You can try this, try this on your own with your MATLAB or online MATLAB. I, I think that's the new thing out there. Everyone is searching for it. I don't think it's that awesome. There we go. All right, so we have something called expand. This is another function that is very useful, I believe. For example, you have something like x plus 2, uh, changing colors here, x plus 2, x plus 1. Uh, 3x squared minus 2 and you want to basically expand all this and find the uh, uh, expanded version right so this is this functions mission is just that it expands the whole thing and gives you the result so I think this thing starts with 3x to the fourth and it goes on like that so I cannot uh, solve the whole thing it, it will take a lot of time all right so there's an opposite function for this guy, right? So let's say we have a function like this. We have an equation like this. Let me say that. Let me say it like that. x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. So when you say factor and place this guy in here, it's going to give you the result like this, all right? Let me use cryon here. X plus one cube, all right? It's going to factor it, all right? These guys are reverse, so uh, whatever you wanna do, make sure you're using the right thing. If you're not sure, go and type help expand. It's gonna tell you what it does. So uh, it's a pretty long one, but as you can see here, it's, it's just exactly how I explain it to you. All right, great, great, great. So let me pick one here. Eraser, black, great, that's my default. All right, so let's say you have a function like this, x cubed plus 4x squared minus uh, 6x, negative seven. This is your function, and you want to substitute five in here, right? Five, how do you do that? You Well, you can't just calculate it. Say, well, this is 125, this is, uh, I don't know what, 100, this is 30, this is maybe 7, and you basically calculate it, but there's a better way to do that. You just use subs, enter your polynomial, which is x cubed plus 4 times x squared, and it goes on like that. Then you put a comma here, all right, this is important. Then you say, I'm going to substitute x, right? Then you put another comma here with 5. So let me do that because this is, I believe, important subs. Uh, so this is our guy. Let me actually make it equal to something. My value is equal to x, x, uh, where's x cubed plus 5, 5 times x squared. All right, this is my value. Subs value. Uh, x, this is the variable that I'm going to change, I want to substitute with a number, say 7, and press enter, you see the number is equal to 588, fantastic, you can, as you can see, for example, if it was something like this, a times x cubed plus bx5 plus 7b, you would just simply say, well, I want to substitute a with, a with, uh, I don't know, 
and then any number like 10 you can do it just like that and you wouldn't change anything any other variable which is x and b they will just still be the same which is a great functionality if you want to have it also um, this is a, I believe a problem that I always have I, I want to see it in their uh, fractional form let's say 1 plus 2 plus 5 over 11 you want to see it just like just like this guy right off it's actually embarrassing I did that but 21 over 22 right this is how you want to see it but it actually does the calculation and it gives you an output like 0.9 I don't know that, 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 that. it goes on like that if you want if you don't want MATLAB to do this thing you have to use symbolic operations or symbolic function which is again sim and you would just say 1 over 2 plus 5 over 11 and it's going to give you 21 over 22 and let me actually show you that sim 5 5 over 11 plus plus 1 over 2 and the result is 21 over 22 great that's actually pretty useful if you want to see the real outcome you would just say 5 over 12 uh, it was ants, right? Ants. Let me say double. Well, let me do that actually. Double ants. And you see, this is the result we want to get. Now changing color. Change the color here. I want to change the color. All right, I've changed the color. Clean it up. Okay. What else? Uh, we also have something called easy plot. It basically plots your variable. Let's say this is x, sorry, equation x cubed, x squared, pi. It plots it from negative pi to positive pi, and it gives you output in a beautiful form. So like this, I don't know. Um, also, this is the last thing. So bear with me, guys. We have a function that I believe is very, very useful. Right, solve. So you enter your thing, x cubed plus 5x squared minus x plus 1 and you say just like this you leave it that and it gives you the output by assuming that this thing is equal to 0 you can also make it something like this solve x squared plus x is equal to 6 and it's going to solve this equation so let me do that so I'm gonna type something crazy here so I'm not even sure if there's a real solution to it uh, solve x cubed minus 5, 5, uh, x, x squared plus 7, uh, x plus 8. So let's see, uh, it's busy. Oh my god, look at this answer. Woo! Oh, that's crazy. I don't know what this means, but again, solve the question. That's what you're really concerned about. Great, and it takes some. It took some time, right? All right, I think um, that's all about it. Wait, what's that? What's that? Play us out.